Hello, Chris Menard here. I love text before and text after functions. They do only work in M365. Today, I'm going to combine them both. As a quick review, I will do text before, I will do text after, and then I'll actually do the combination. There are chapters and bookmarks down below. I'll also use formula text functions so you can keep up with this. Let's go ahead and look at this right now. So over in column A, I've got a list of states, county, and then the city. What I'm hoping to do is end up with just the city. Notice the city's in the middle of it. So as a review of text before, I'm in cell B2. I'm going to do text before. What is it you want to find? That is A2 is the text, comma. My delimiter is a hyphen. That is it. All the other arguments are not required. So the text before, the very first hyphen is GA for Georgia, and that is exactly what I get. Quick note about text before, I'm going to edit B2. I'm going to add another argument, comma. If I put in the number two, I'm saying find the second one. So I should get the text before the second one is GA hyphen Cobb. Let's just see if that's correct. And it is. So now you know how this function works. I did do an undo to get that back. So there's text before as a review. Text after is just the opposite. Text after, A2, comma, delimiter is still the hyphen. I should get Cobb hyphen Marietta, and I do right there. Autofill that down. So there's text after right there. Just to keep up with this, I'm going to add formula text function, which is another great function. I'm going to reference cell B2. So you can see the formulas or functions that I'm using down below here. There we go. Now, here we go. I want to combine text before and text after because what I really want is just what's in the middle. So this is great for my example, but this would also be great if you're looking at uh, accounting numbers, you need to pull out a middle number. Maybe you got product numbers with hyphens or some other delimiter. That is why this function is so cool. So here we go. I'm going to start off with text after. We just used it a second ago, and I'm going to get the exact same results just to walk you through here. So nothing new. Cell D2 looks exactly like the same as cell C2. I'm going to go and edit this, though, because we've already done text before, quick review, and saw what it did. So since I've got text after sitting here with Cobb Marietta, I'm going to put in text before, and my delimiter here is another hyphen. That is it right there. There is Cobb County, Fulton County, Dade County, Orange County, on and on down the list. It is correct. And here is the function joining them both, text before and text after. If, as a bonus tip, if you want to actually see how this works, I'm going to go to the formula tab and evaluate this formula. I'm in cell D2, evaluate formula, move this box around. It's showing you everything to begin with. When I hit evaluate, it is doing this first, the text after. Evaluate again. It came up with Cobb hyphen Marietta. We knew that. Evaluate again. And then when I throw in the text before, it ends up with just Cobb. And I could restart the evaluation, but that is how that worked. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. My Excel online training classes are available. I have basic, intermediate, and advanced. And then I bundled them all together. Also, I've got a new class coming out on Microsoft Copilot, which I love. And I've got a Microsoft Teams online training class available. I appreciate your time. Thank you.